Okay, in this video I'm going to um, show you how to uh, make an object appear and disappear. So continuing on from the first video from yesterday, so let's just label these points uh, x1, y1 uh, using this, the text tool here. We click on it and we put in brackets here uh, x underscore 1 comma y underscore 1 close the brackets but you, you should maybe turn it to latex formula okay repeat it for this one here so brackets x underscore 2 y underscore 2 Maybe change the color of these. Notice these appear as text, so go to select tool, change the color, uh, press shift, you can probably select. Okay, never mind. Object properties, uh, text, uh, change them to bold, just, just select them both, you can do it both at the same time. Color, change them to uh, blue. Okay, before we go any further, we want to know what the x coordinate of these points are. So, type in x of p. That returns the x coordinate of p. And it, that is at number 1. Uh, y of p. That returns the y coordinate of that particular point. These are appearing up here. x of q that returns the x coordinate at that point because it left c and uh, y of q they need, they need to go into brackets okay so if you change those they're dynamic you can see they change as well right going back to the text tool we put in the formula so menu uh, ABC over here somewhere put in now um, M is equal to you really need to change it to latex okay select the latex tool and then look for fraction and then this is the top part of the fraction so in here we want to put Y underscore 2 minus Y underscore 1 and then here we put the bottom part which is x underscore 2 minus x underscore 1 press ok and that will appear there ok we need to put another one in um, m is going to be equal to uh, latex formula uh, go for fraction again we want uh, QN QN so you need to put the latex formula in the right place and divided by P N press OK probably go back to this one here just get rid of the equals to M so So okay like that. Oops, I need to put back the equal sign. So just put back the equal sign in front. Okay, so that gives you that one there. If you right click on these, you can change the colours. Make them bold. All appears here. And the okay. Uh, right click on this and change it to uh, blue and style change to dashed and basic you just want to show the value that will give you the number there ok object properties um, same thing again value <coughs> color blue style ok 
there we go. Right, and uh, we now want to put in the <coughs> values. So going back to text tool here, m will be equal to, let's go to latex formula, so we'll a fraction. So a is going to actually be the value h. Now to get that, you now have to go to objects and select h, and it puts in the value, get rid of the a. Or you can do it this way, so select that one and select, we want g this time too, and you'll see it put m is equal to 3 over 2. Okay, and then again, we're going to put equals latex formula uh, fraction and then get rid of the A, so we're going to want uh, Y2 minus, sorry, you can put back in that, minus Y1. This is actually taking the values rather as opposed to the um, variable, divided by <coughs> X2 minus x1. You need to get rid of that b. So it's down here to shows you what you're going to get. And press OK. Change that back to a whole number. OK, so we're just going to select those two texts. Right click, object, object properties, and we're going to change the color to those to be red, text to be bold, and that would be okay. Right, now you want to make those disappear and appear. So you need to go to the check button, this one here. Click on that and then put it somewhere. Put in a title, click to see formula, put whatever text you want in. Okay, and then you select either by that and that or you look for it down here. Okay, don't select for, don't put this in more than one tick uh, box. Press apply. Okay, so if you click on that, that will appear and disappear. Okay, repeat it again for the other one. Okay, click to see gradient. Okay, again, if you go back to this one, you must go back to this one before you click it. It will appear and disappear. Okay, so get rid of that, you save it, and there you go, you've got your uh, applet. You can change the colors of these by just right clicking, object properties, and going to color. Uh, the first one was green, so we'll make it green just to keep the color code. And the same here, right click, object properties, and you can make that one red. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to make a GeoGebra applet, make things disappear and appear, and do a little bit of labeling and a little bit of latex. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.